Now this extreme cold is today's top story. Records could be set today in some two dozen major cities from Texas to the Midwest. Let's get to NBC's Dylan Dreyer. She is raving the elements this morning. She's in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Dylan, good morning to you. Oh, good morning, Savannah. You know, I can say with 100% certainty, I have never experienced cold like this in my life. It is 10 below here in Green Bay, but with this wind, it feels like it is 40 degrees below zero. This is a deep freeze that we haven't seen in decades, and it's only getting colder. And this is just miserably cold and extremely dangerous for anyone to be outside. The big question, how low can we go? Sub-zero temperatures shattering records, sending us into the big chill. These temperatures that will be out there will be lower than what's in your freezer. In many states, officials are warning people to stay inside and off the roads unless absolutely necessary. Over the next couple of days, cities in the Midwest and along the East Coast could see temperatures drop 30 to 50 degrees, with wind chills hitting 50 to 60 degrees below zero. If you must get out on the roads, this Arctic blast makes de-icing your car almost impossible. Real slippery, real icy, people falling, we almost fell. The threat of dangerously cold temperatures forced Minneapolis public schools to close for the first time in 17 years. We've never experienced weather this cold, ever. Classes are also canceled in Chicago, nicknamed Siberia, now because of the brutally cold conditions there. Air travel is already a nightmare in many regions and getting worse, with thousands of flights canceled or delayed. A few hardy souls are finding alternative ways to get around. A little easier to get around on this than it is to get in a car or truck. And here in Green Bay, tailgaters found ways to keep warm in the frozen tundra. Keeping two grills going, one just for warmth. One for the feet, one for the food. Now, the bitter cold temperatures did bring a bitter end to the Packers season. They lost here to San Francisco at Lambeau Field. But even though back east right now it is pretty mild, this Arctic air mass is headed that way. But, Al, what I think is most interesting is just how far south this deep freeze is going to stretch. That's right, all the way down Atlanta, down into Florida. Uh, Dylan, make sure you get inside really quickly. These kind of wind chills, uh, you can have frostbite within 10 minutes. Dylan, thank you so much. All right, look at this. 26 states with either warnings or watches for wind chills. This is crazy stuff from the Dakotas all the way down to Texas, into Florida, into the Northeast. And why are we going to be looking at this brutally cold air that's going to be making its way into the area? There's an area up to the north in the literally the North Pole. It's called the polar vortex. Normally, it stays to the north. Think of this as a polar vortex hurricane basically it has broken loose and now we get that counterclockwise flow around it and so the polar vortex is sending in this brutally cold air that we normally don't see these temperatures have not been seen for at least 20 years throughout much of the country right now it feels like 39 below in chicago 45 in minneapolis but look new york city it's 53 64 in norfolk jackson feels like seven tomorrow morning new york city 12 below 20 below in Caribou. Chicago feels like 38 below and New York City 14, Chicago 2. Do we get any relief? The good news is the latter part of the week this Arctic air mass will start to retreat as the polar vortex moves to the north. We're going to see winds that are going to start coming out of the west more zonal and that means temperatures actually start to warm up. Cleveland 39, New York 41 by Friday. 69 in Charleston, Chicago. We'll see 36. So the good news, we just just have to wait a little while longer. Savannah? All right, but a while to get there, Al. Thank you.